It's now been two years since a gunman opened fire on a congressional baseball practice in Alexandria, seriously injuring Congressman Steve Scalise in the process. Tonight, he's going to be back on that field alongside dozens of other lawmakers at Nats Park. Scalise spoke to John Gonzalez about his road recovery. Well, nothing really says the start of summer here in our nation's capital like this tradition, the annual congressional baseball game for charity here at Nationals Park and the grounds crew getting things ready for one last practice today before the big game tonight. A game, a tradition that started back in 1909. The event raises money for three charities, the Washington Literacy Center, Boys and Girls Club, and the Washington Nationals Dream Foundation. And of course, it has been two years since that horrific shooting at one of the Republican practices in Alexandria. The innocence and joy of this event shattered that morning. A handful injured, most notably Louisiana Republican Steve Scalise, who is slowly but surely making great strides as he continues to recover. He will be on the field tonight. We a lot better, uh, you know, come a long way. Even last year I got to play in the game briefly, but I really didn't have any mobility and uh, you know, really tough moving around, doing a lot better now. Uh, keep getting better, still do physical therapy, but, uh, you know, how great is this? 27 Democrats and 44 Republicans are practicing this morning, including two presidential candidates, Tim Ryan and Eric Swalwell. Democrats won the game last year, 21 to 5, so the GOP has a score to settle. First pitch, 7.05 here at Nats Park. John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News. Head for you this